Hello everybody, my name is Athena, and welcome back to another map tutorial. Today, we're going to be looking at border and how to defend the top three bomb sites. So before we get into this, I want you guys to, while you listen to the video, keep in mind that border is a very important map on trading and map control. Trading is whenever someone dies in your team, it is someone's job on your team, including yourself, to go and get that refrag and even out the numbers. If it's a 5v4, it's it's everyone's job to make it a 4v4 but i just what reef trading is so we're gonna start off with smoke and armory and lockers um the operators that i'm about to show you guys is very versatile you can use whoever you want but i think smoke is a very good uh pick for this site regardless of your team um if your team is you know roaming or if your team is staying on site uh smoke this strategy is very good so i just immediately go for these walls and reinforce this wall up you can reinforce you know the other defaults like in archives but we're going to be looking at using how to uh, pull up a shield and basically all you're doing is just holding down the site you're not anchoring you're playing somewhat passive but aggressive when you need to so we're going to be reinforcing off that there might be a bandit or a jaeger you know barbed wire around here someone might clip a shield right here so you may see this in ranked this is an incorrect shield. You do not want to put a shield like this. Now, unless unless there was like no Jaeger, if you guys don't have a Jaeger for some reason, then that's fine. But if you guys do have a Jaeger, Jaeger should put his device right here. While you put it in the same spot, you back up a little bit. Back it up like right here. Um, and that's good. Because you're wondering why. Why don't I clip it to the wall? They can shoot me from here, right? Incorrect, because you want the ADS. Uh, as long as the ADS is right here, you want to put it back like a little bit more. So when the Zofio or like the Ash Charge comes in, that way this will catch it. But you know, you want to put it maybe back a little bit more, but you can test it out. So uh, I put the shield right here and you're playing right here. You're in a very, very safe spot unless someone's playing on this window or, you know, Buck's trying to get you from below, right? So, <coughs> so what you're wondering, what do I do here? Do I sit here and yeah, do I throw smokes over? You're correct. You're like, what if I get exposed? If this is not reinforced, you want to be a little, a little cautious. Maybe I tuck in this one right here. But you just want to be aware of your surroundings, basically this and this, and maybe if they're doing an archives push. If you're, if you have your shield set up right here and they're going for an archives push, immediately rotate and play this right here. You're safe from the main wall and you're safe from fountain. So usually what I do also is just open up the top three. Be careful. Do not do it too low. Cause then look then it gives them the line of sight but you want to just enough enough to throw smokes over that's what i usually like to do it's just the kind of default too um so what you guys should be doing you want to be staying alive um your smokes can basically control the game it, it, it's about 10 seconds each and no one's gonna run through the smoke or else they're gonna run in regardless they're gonna lose half their hp they're blind it's gonna be a free pick for you once you jump jump, jump out um Another tip is to anchor as hard as possible when you're holding this site. When you're halfway in, you want to double down your anchor. You want to be aware of everywhere they're pushing in from. If they're pushing from metal, I usually like to hold this anchor right here. But you know, if someone's repelling in your window, you just chill right here. Even if this wall gets open, you're safe right here. You're chilling. Now, this isn't the best spot to hold, but you hold your ground right here. It's better than playing half wall because you're exposed. You, it's really hard to rotate. But if someone's repelling right here, then it, you have a chance of coming over here, maybe losing a little bit of HP. But in this situation, I've been in the situation many times, you do not want to jump over. You don't want to move. If someone's on your window, if someone's under you, just tuck as much as you just stay in the spot as long as you can. And if you're literally getting pinched from every angle, just start tossing your smokes. Because it's better if you throw them out than you die with them in your pocket, you know? You, you always want to utilize your smokes. And don't be afraid to use them up early. If they're thatchering this, if they're zofeeing this, if I were you, I would just start smoking it off right now. Because uh, then you hold this ankle, maybe duck off from the shield. But you just want to anchor as hard as you as possible you can right here. So you obviously you want to cover your bandit. If your bandit is tricking, it is up to it is up to you to protect him. And you have to peek if someone swings on him. Because if he dies and then there's no trade, your team's gonna be very mad and it's just very bad overall. You always want to get the trade on whoever dies, if possible, but you don't want to risk your life um, too much. So, we're going to go down to ventilation. Hope that armor was okay, but we're on this one. So you can use Jaeger, Castle, like 
anybody to be honest as long as it's ut utility up there you'll be good and don't worry about getting used to that smoke strategy that smoke strategy is going to take time to get used to it might be outside your comfort zone or you know you're not used to the angles you're going to get killed by like every single angle over there i promise you that but that's okay because then you learn don't worry about if you die one time doing it if you die one time doing the strat that just means you haven't learned the strat fully yet it's not it doesn't mean the strat's bad it just means you haven't learned it fully so what i like to do i like to reinforce these two, the two walls off as well and open this up you can honestly just talk with your teammates and uh, what kind of utility you want you could actually write up what i call the dual pull over shoot right here again um you can make holes above to see the default plant this is one of the bomb sites so you want to make holes up here and make a double hole right here that way you can see people if they're running from this and you can see that you can basically see all of the whole site above um this is just like if someone gets into the site um you can basically play around that i would recommend opening up these two hatches you can think about this one though because if they start coming in it's really easy for you to rotate Tr avoid at all cost like most of the time to rotate down the stairs it's not a bad idea but if if it's pretty late in the round it's kind of risky to expose yourself you don't know when anything's happening so dropping the hatches might be the safest way to get back on site but i usually like to put my barbed wire um, down over here put this setup right here and then another one right up here now on this site it's all about map control if if this team if the enemy team gets control of customs they have control of this angle right here they can see and from there and they can see you all the way into there so be careful if you're ever anchoring you don't want to sit right here same with bathroom you know uh, holding upstairs is like a very powerful spot because if they start opening up this you can see the default plant from here and remember all those holes we made up there you want to use those holes and use them bound but the mozzie pests honestly if you guys have to defend the site twice or if you see a common spot they're coming in from if they're constantly droning and pushing this place out every single round put his mozzie drone right here honestly even barricading off can stop a push it will either they have to break through it and it, it gives them sound cue of where they're coming from honestly barricades are super underrated in this game not enough people use it you might see a lot in pro league oh i gotta barricade this like you don't want to barricade up everything you see because then that kind of works against you but if you start barricading stuff off it, it it doubles the time they have to come through unless you know they just straight up rush you but let's say if you want to remember you're holding up top usually what i like to do i like to not reinforce uh, i like to barricade off this with a castle or a normal barricade i like to open up this hatches the thing about roaming all this no matter where the bomb site is you can always fall back downstairs you can fall back here fall back down to the bathroom site this site or customs customs also has a cc hatch but uh, a little trick with mods you guys can do if the, you know this is a high traffic drone place shotgun this open and put a mozzie drone in there see how i did that i'll do it one more time just so you can see i'm gonna pick this up one more time honestly you can just test out the floors sometimes it might be like undestructible like this one but like you know think about where you like a lot of people don't don't think about everyone knows how to attack these sites but they never really you know use it against them or against the enemy so if they're constantly droning out here if you put a mozzie drone here they're not gonna have intel past this point unless they use Zofia or utility on there but basically that's how you hold upstairs and another thing to remember what i said in the beginning of the video always go for trades and map control there's times where you have to give up the map control where you have to give up the trade it's all about playing smart and your game sense will develop over time Please remember, none of these, none of these, some of this stuff is going to happen overnight, unless you already know. But these are what usually what I do. So we're going to do the last site on customs. I personally go mute on the site, mute or like a cade, like something to get the walls. Um, your teammates can usually roam, uh, but today we're going to be anchoring on the site. Uh, you, you know, that's not the most fun thing, but. Some people uh, think that anchoring on this site is bad, but you know, that's just a false on everything we just said. What I like to do, I like to make a rotate right here because you're 100% you're safe 
This is not wall bangable. This is metal. You can't get wall bang from this. You can't get wall bang from this though. So what I like to do, I like to put a mute jammer right here. That way they can't drone from that drone hole. Uh, one right there. It's, it's just really versatile where you want to put it. Put a mute jammer on this wall. And then if you can get your teammates to reinforce off that hatch or I'm right here. Um, a really good spot is right here. You put, if you put it in the corner, then people droning right here with their drones will get jammed and they can't drone past this point maybe over here and the last one i would like to uh put it on maybe like one of these walls like that honestly it's not a bad idea to even put one like right here you know just put it in like spots you see them droning most and it'll slow them down because you know at the end of the day it's not about how many kills you get it's always about how much time is played out match so if they do end up getting this wall open you fall back Usually you, you will have this reinforced, you can either play here, or you can tuck in this thing right over here. Just watch out if they start walking in. You don't really want to challenge a hollow. That's why I kind of like to put the shotgun. But if that window's open too, and this gets open, this is a really risky spot to play right here. But you can if you want. You can just call your teammates, or you know, there's a lot of places you can play. Uh, a really like spot I like to play is right here. Jump up on this thing, and you can see all that right there. And you're pretty you're pretty safe right here. You're pretty you, you blend in pretty good. So this learn how to control the recoil. And yeah, that's basically it for my organ defense or uh, my border defense. If you guys have any more questions or like anything else to explain, please leave a comment. I appreciate you guys all for the recent support on my videos. My videos are actually blowing up to me. Like I'm getting like triple the views I normally get. I appreciate you guys. If you guys do have another map you want to comment down, please just let me know. DM me on my Twitter comment section instagram anything dude honestly so appreciate you guys and i hope you guys enjoyed or learned something from this please remember this will take time and game sense every time you die just know it's a lesson and it will work towards your career to get diamond the next rank you're looking for so thank you guys for watching please share with a friend and have a good night as always